So here I am back inside of the example file that comes along with this course, the monthly budget 01 document. Now that we've got an understanding of the building blocks that make up a function, equals, function name, function arguments, let's now start to build some of these functions. We're going to start off with perhaps the most common, the most basic function inside of Excel. This is the sum function. Now I'm calling it the most basic, but it is the most commonly used function inside of Excel. You'll use it perhaps daily as you're working inside of Excel. So take a look. This is how you work with the sum function. Now I've already got some calculations in here. I'm going to wipe out these old ones. These are the ones that we built using the standard formula format. Equals this plus this plus this. It got the job done, but it was very tedious. So I'm just going to grab those. I'm going to wipe them out of there. Let's get rid of these as well. I don't need that. Now my percentages just erred out on me because I don't have anything to calculate anymore. That's fine. I'm going to leave the errors there because it's trying to divide by numbers that don't exist, essentially a divide by zero. So we'll leave that as is, but we'll come back to it. It'll get fixed as we continue to develop this worksheet. So now I'm going to jump down to B10. This is where I want to input the sum of the January amounts. So remember before we said equals B5 plus B6 plus B7. Again, very tedious. It got the job done once again, but perhaps not the most efficient way for us to develop an addition or a sum calculation. So now in steps the sum function. Excel is going to automate this experience with just a little bit of input on our part. So I'm going to click into the B10 cell. That's where I want the formula to show up. I'm going to go up to my formulas tab. In the formulas tab, there is many different ways to perform calculations. For a sum function, there are multiple ways to do it. For right now, building blocks, understanding the basics here, I'm going to go to formulas. I'm going to go to math and trig. This contains all the math and trig type functions. I can scroll through. There's some in there that I, that I use pretty regularly. There's some in there I've never used. Now well, let's find the one called sum. There it is. I'll give it a click. This is going to open up my function arguments window. So remember, first part you got the equals. It's actually already built that for me. The second part is we've got the sum function. That's what I just did here. The third part, and that's what I'm about to do here, is the arguments. A sum function wants to know a range of cells. And look at that, B5 through B9, does that sound right? B5 through B9, it's already done it for me. I don't even have to do anything, I can just hit OK and I'm done. Now, if it didn't put this in here, let's just delete that out for a moment. Excel is super smart, it tries to anticipate, so it already did it for me. But if it didn't do it for some reason, all I need to do is my number one argument, is just come and grab the correct range of cells. I'm just left clicking and dragging B5 through B9. And there it is. I hit OK. And I've now summed up, I've added up the January amounts there, 1700. Let's try this again. I'm going to click over inside of cell C10. I'll go back to formulas, back to math and trig, scroll down till I find the sum function. Dun, dun, dun. There's sum opens up my argument window. Look at that, it's already got it. C5 through C9, that's the correct range. Now once again, if it didn't do it, you can always grab it, type it in yourself, click and drag, just get the correct range of cells, the cells that you wanna sum up. I hit okay, and I'm done, 1790. Simple. If I double click on one of these cells, you'll see the formula. Equals, sum, open parentheses, get the range of cells, the argument, close the parentheses, and you've got your function. Super simple. Beats have to do this plus this plus this. Use the functions, use them to help automate and streamline your experience in here. Again, this is the most common function used inside of Microsoft Excel. We're going to take a look at a few others, but practice this first. Finish off the, the row there for the totals. Go do the column there for rent and phone and credit card and so on. Finish off the summing of these different calculations.